All right, guys, so tomorrow we're getting one of the best events in Raid. I'll be streaming on YouTube as well as Twitch around 9 a.m. Eastern time, but the event that I'm talking about is the free gear removal. Now, this is going to last for 96 hours, so it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for me, and you're going to get 100% reduced cost on swapping or removing artifacts as well as accessories. So no longer is it going to cost 100000 to swap a shield. It's not going to cost 50000 to swap an accessory. It's going to cost zero. So now is one of the best times if you wanted to come in here and optimize some of your champion's builds, especially for things like live arena, things like just regular arena for me. 3v3 is a big thing I'm going to be working on. I have a lot of champs who kind of just kind of fallen out of the meta. I just haven't redone my 3v3 team. So now is the perfect time to do that. Maybe you want to adjust some of your Hydra stuff. Maybe you want to rebuild a Yannicka team for Nightmare Hydra. It's going to be the perfect time to do that, especially since we're coming in to a Hydra reset in just a few hours. So Hydra will have reset. It's going to be an excellent time to do that. Now, when you're approaching this, you're going to want to make sure you plan this out. So number one tip is going to be planning on who you're going to build. Next thing is farming some silver today. I mean, you have until Saturday when the event ends, so make sure you farm some silver. Of course, it's not going to cost silver to actually make the swaps of gear. But it is going to cost you silver. Say tomorrow during Hydra Reset, you get some amazing stone skin pieces that fill out a build, like are excellent for a build, but the other three pieces on, are on a champion like Ancora. You have three amazing pieces on Ancora. You have one piece from Hydra. You're going to want to level that up, okay? You're going to want to level up pieces, so make sure you have some silver. I'm going to shoot for about 50 million, but honestly, if you have 100 million, that's going to be an even better spot, depending on how much gear you have to level. Looking at my stuff, most of my gear is leveled. I did a pretty deep cleanse a while back and I really haven't kept too much past that. Like this could be sold. I'm going to probably go through and cleanse my gear here soon again uh, if I have like some unleveled pieces. But in honesty, most of my pieces are leveled. Most of my pieces aren't going to require silver. So at 50 million silver, I should be fine for most of the builds I'm working on. But speaking of cleansing, I do actually recommend that. Now, I know unfortunately it's not CVC. So you're not going to get the benefit from cleansing all your gear, going through and upgrading everything, but you are going to get the benefit of a more organized account. So it's up to you if you want to do this during CVC or do it now. Of course, you could just go in here and just swap the gear on champion builds and even unequip some champions if you want to use the champion in a different build in the future. So there's a lot of different things you can do. Matter of fact, a lot of players during these events come in and strip a ton of champions and then just plan to rebuild them in the future. The issue with that is they end up not building them and they're just left with champions with no gear and they just never get back around to building them. However, I do want to give a big, big recommendation. If you're a player out there, listen closely. If you're somebody who's been muling your gear on champions in your vault, use this time to go in here and unequip all those champions of that useless gear. I cannot tell you how many accounts that I've been in where I go to equipped, I go to rank and rarity and I see, well, what the heck is this? <laughs> I got some in my account, but I've seen tons of four-star gear on accounts equipped on champions. Unequip that garbage, sell it. Sell that trash from these champions. They don't need to have anything equipped like that. You probably have champions in your vault who are holding that gear hostage. Do not do that. I've seen tons of people muling gear on their champions as well. Sell that stuff, okay? If it's, if it's low quality gear, remove it from those champions and sell it. This is the perfect time to do that. Man, it'll clear up so much on your account and when you're cleansing gear in the future it'll also make your game run faster it literally slows down the game when you're cleansing gear especially if you're going through equipped and you have like 4,000 pieces equipped or total pieces in your account it makes the game actually run slower now if you close this i don't think it does but i've been in accounts where man the gear is just absolutely overwhelming so use this time to cleanse some gear especially on those champions you're muling it on you don't need to do that, guys. Trust me. And next up, download the Hell Haze Optimizer for easier gearing. So this is especially helpful if you're doing something like I plan on doing, which is just building some new teams for the arena, working on stuff in the Cursed City. I got some epic champions who I just want to build with decent stats. They don't need to be crazy. They just need to have decent stats. So what I'll do in the Optimizer is just set it like 200 speed, good accuracy, good survivability, and let it run, specifically using gear that's unequipped currently. Now, if you want to optimize your builds like for maximum potential, maybe you're trying to optimize Hydra, you're trying to optimize Fire Knight. If you wanted to do that, you're trying to optimize uh, Clan Balls, whatever it may be. Arena is a big one. Arena is probably the number one place you're going to be adjusting stuff because there's really no ceiling in the arena. Like your best gear, it's going to be what you want to have when you're arena champions. This is going to be the time where you want to go in and say, okay, I want my Rodos to be my absolute best damage dealer possible in my account. This champion is going to go in 
We're going to have it searching even your equipped gear, getting your absolute best build for Rotos, and then we're locking his build. The next best damage dealer I want. Well, I use Sun Wukong a lot, so I want Sun Wukong to be my next best damage dealer. Actually, for me, it's going to be Narcis. I want Narcis to be my next best damage dealer to Rotos, so I want his build to be absolutely best. So my best is Rotos, second place is Narcis, and then everybody else, I just keep locking the champions before it. And then eventually I get to my, you know, fourth and fifth string damage dealer. Well, they're still built well, but they're not taking gear from Rodos, not taking gear from Narcis. Let's talk about my priorities when it comes to building and what I'll be doing on stream tomorrow. So for me, there are a few areas that are more valuable than just really anything else. So live arena, like I mentioned, arena in general doesn't have a cap on your stats. Like if you have an 800 resistance UDK and Hydra, you're way overkill. Now, granted, you're probably not using UDK and Hydra anyways, but if you have them with 800 resistance, you don't need that. 800 resistance in the arena, well, now you're actually resisting stuff pretty regularly. You're still getting stuff through, but most of the time you're resisting things. 3v3, same thing. You have a 400 speed Siffy in Hydra. Not necessarily needed most of the time. Does, does do decent. Obviously, some stats are a little bit different. But 400 speed in the arena, you're winning most of your speed fights, but plenty of speed fights you're losing. 500 accuracy in the arena is pretty decent. 500 accuracy in Hydra is absolutely overkill. So arena, there's no stat caps. So you want to prioritize your arena champions over... Honestly, everything else, assuming your other champions are meeting the specific speed tunes required for the areas you're doing. Obviously, don't come in here and break your clan boss. Don't do none of that stuff. Don't break teams already working unless you plan on rebuilding them. But for me, I don't plan on doing that, so I'm not going down that route. But I will come in here. Okay, my my Rotos is my best built champion. I want him to be my top. My Sun Wukong may have gear that could go on... Narcis, so maybe I prioritize Narcis over Wukong, or maybe I prioritize Georgian somewhere in there and get him in a good build. So when it comes to Arena, I prioritize that the highest, but then the next, I'm going to be looking for 3v3 rebuilds, complete rebuilds there, but it's going to go into Live Arena. The reason why Live Arena is number one is because Live Arena takes fewer champions than 3v3, but it's going to use similar champions. So I can dedicate the best stuff to Live Arena, and then next tier to 3v3, and then I want to dedicate stuff to Hydra. Now, Hydra isn't going to require a lot of, you know, like super high stat caps, but it's going to require some pretty specific gear. And I may have to swap some stuff from different champions, but I plan on building out a Trunda team for hard mode Hydra and a Yannicka team for nightmare Hydra. I have to go through and figure out what my champions, how they're going to be set up, all that kind of stuff. So it may not happen in tomorrow's stream, it may happen in a future one, but this is something I want to do during this free gear removal event. And then Centranos general builds on epic champions. Honestly, I have a lot of champions in my account who are epics that just don't have any gear. Maybe they've gotten like some pieces taken off of them because I was wanting to test stuff. But I want to come in here on these champions and throw on gear that's not great, but it finishes the stats that I need for them. For example, Miss Rider Dithy. I want him to have 100% crit rate, 200 plus crit damage, 200 plus speed. Um, does he need accuracy? Yes, he does for the AOE decrease defense. So accuracy there, and then he's good to go. I don't need to max his stats, but he needs to be functioning in content. Whenever I come into Centranos, I click on a stage, I want to beat it. Well, I can't because Mist Rider isn't geared. My Staltus isn't geared. All my champions aren't built. I got to go through and build them all. Well, I would much rather just have these champions already done. Same thing with Doom Tower Seeker Rooms. Go in here, see what epics you need, build these champions. Also, something worth noting is when you're building your live arena champions, you can consider building teams for Dark Fae as well. I think I'm a little bit behind on the current rotation. I missed a day or two, I hope. Hopefully not more than that, but... It is what it is. I'll get called up. At, well, I can't get called up, but I'll get to the top eventually, guys. I'll get to the top. But hey, tomorrow, free reset, or sorry, free gear removal event. So definitely plan this accordingly. You have 96 hours, so plenty of time. I love that player rooms doing this. So you have plenty of time to work on this, plenty of time to rebuild your stuff. I'm going to go over what I'm doing. You could even wait for an artifact enhancement event. There's no rush to this. Matter of fact, is there any artifact enhancement events coming up? Let me see that real quick. So calendar, we have free gear removal, artifact drop fever. Doesn't look like any artifact enhancement events, but that's, I guess it's fine. I mean, I wish there was some artifact enhancement events. There may be randomly because they have nothing right here. So, well, it is what it is. Unfortunately, it looks like we don't have any artifact enhancement events, but if we do get one, that's going to be the best time to start leveling your stuff up, of course. So, best of luck, guys. Hopefully, you get the most out of this free gear removal event. It's a great time to just revamp your account, give it a facelift of sorts, 
But let me know what you're doing. What champions are you rebuilding? What champions are you working on during this event? And I hope to see you guys on my stream, either over here on YouTube or over on Twitch. Thank you guys. I appreciate you all. And I'll catch you in the next one.